and welcome to our video series, Ringgold Rapid Responses. My name is Cindy miller Unks, and I am um, the past president of the Ringgold Band and the assistant conductor of the Ringgold New Horizons Band. In this series, we're going to introduce you to members of the Ringgold Band and the New Horizons Band and give you a glimpse of their lives outside of rehearsals. Today with me is Ringgold New Horizons member, Jim Bauer. Hi, Jim. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Oh, I'm great. It's so good oh. to see you. It really is. Same here. So, um, what section of the band do you play in? Percussion. Yeah, and the heartbeat of the band. <laughs> Very good. Yes, ma'am, and we, we get to hit things and get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Exactly right. <laughs> um, but you didn't start as a percussionist in New Horizons, did you? No, I started as a trumpet player. That's my second love. Uh -huh. And um, those were interesting days. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were. What's it been, seven years now? Seven I years? believe so. Okay. I, that I started, uh, yeah, I started in the second semester. The second semester? Of the band's oh. existence, yes. So and uh, tried to keep the trumpet section together rhythmically. Yes. <laughs> that was my next question. How long have you been with the band? But you've been with the band um, since its inception, except since for the semester. Correct. And <laughs> then previous to that, my wife Margaret and I were also members of the Ringgold Band back in like 2003 to 2009, I think. Something like that. Yeah. She playing bassoon and I playing in the percussion section, primarily mallet percussion. Right. And then um, Margaret joined and um, switched over to? Flute. F flute. <laughs> yes, she was in my... And clarinet. And clarinet. Oh, she, you know, you woodwind players. You can you can do it all. We do it all. That's you, right. In terms of woodwinds, at least. I don't know. Right. You know, it's interesting. When I was a music ed major at Mansfield with Margaret, Margaret and Jim Seidel were a year behind me. Uh -huh. And then Nick, who plays bassoon in the uh, New Horizons, and also plays what clarinet? He plays clarinet in Ringgold, yeah. In Ringgold, and he was he was a clarinet major there. Wow! And, so, yeah. and I believe Margaret was instrumental in the planning process of New Horizons. She was, yes. Horizons band. I remember yeah. her in yes. the meetings on that. She so, and you and Bill, and some right. others. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. What was your prior musical experience before uh, joining New Horizons? Did you put your instrument down for a long time? or Not, not really. Um, I taught uh, in the 1970s up in Bradford County, way up above oh, Tawanda, yeah. almost the New York state line in the Athens area school district yeah. in a tiny school, which now is an elementary school. It was a junior senior high school. And now it's an, it's elementary. Now an elementary center. And I taught instrumental music grades five through 12. Oh. Yeah. That is so, I mean, crazy. even though I didn't have big numbers, like the, the senior high band nine through, nine through 12 was maybe got up to about 48 or 50 kids, which for that school, most graduating classes were around 75, 80 kids. So that, so that was pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, I just, the more I taught, the less I enjoyed it. So, so we, we moved on and, and uh, settled then in central PA and then finally in Berks County, which is, I was uh, raised in uh, Limerick, downriver. Oh, uh -huh. And I'm wearing my Spring Ford alumni marching band t shirt that I wore uh, a few years ago in the. Uh, in the Spring City, I think it was a sesquicentennial or something, uh -huh. a parade. That was fun. They found the lar the smallest bass drum for me to play because <laughs> the rest of the percussion section were kids. You know, they were recent graduates. So, <laughs> yeah. so I, wa I wasn't going to mess with that. So I play I had a lot of fun. Good, good. With that. So, no, I've, I've stayed pretty musically uh, active through the years. Uh, when we moved to Mooresville, around the corner from where you grew up in, in, in uh, downtown Centerport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I played some trumpet duets uh, in later years with uh, an old buddy of yours, Dave Haig. Yeah. Who I think was a classmate of yours at Scooby yes, Valley, he was. is that right? Yes, 
Yeah. Actually, um, a year younger. A year you're younger. younger. Okay. Yes. You're yes. behind. Yes. yes. So I, I, uh, I have my eye on him to recruit him if he ever retires for the trumpet section of the New Horizons band, because I think he'd be a nice addition. Oh, he, he definitely yeah. will. So um, you told me before we started the interview officially that you had a musical memory that you wanted to share. I do, a childhood memory. I was in first grade at Limerick Elementary School. Okay. And the Springford, I think it was newly formed, Springford Elementary Band, grades five and six, were uh, presenting a concert. And it was funny at, at Limerick, and the building is still standing. The, wow. it, for the, it was a, a cafetorium or whatever, you oh, know. But you had to go, yeah, it was downstairs. You had to go down all these stairs. So anyway, we're down there, and the band is playing, and I heard this sound as a six-year-old that I had never heard before, and it was beautiful to me, and I cried. I cried. It just, you know, it, it, emotionally. Well, it turns out that it was a, a an oboe solo oh, by a, a boy, oh. yes, who was in fifth grade at the time, and his name is Jim Gorton, G O R T O N. Okay. He went on to study at uh, Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York, became an oboist in the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra, and an adjunct professor of music at Carnegie Mellon University. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. And and um they they don't really encourage us as music educators to start never give a fifth grader an oboe. Right? No. <laughs> that, that is it crazy. sounds like some kind of a duck. But yeah. he and I don't I don't know at what at one point in his life I looked him up on I don't know what it was, Wikipedia, maybe. Right. Um, and he studied later, probably in his junior or senior high school years, uh, with the oboist or an oboist with the, the Philadelphia Orchestra. Oh, my. So, ask, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. I have to ask, my, my um, daughter's roommate lived, yes. um, studied, um, got a, a master's in oboe performance at the University I'm guessing that she may have studied yeah. with him, Jim Gorton. Yeah. Gorton. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to ask her about That's that. my story, and I'm sticking to it. What a great <laughs> memory! Okay. Do you yes. have, um, Do you have a memorable um, experience with either the New Horizons band or the jazz band? I I should have concert mentioned, band. I think I forgot yeah. the concert band. Yeah. To play with the New Horizons jazz. Band. Well, this is you know, Cindy. Between us, this is take two, so <laughs> <laughs> yes. we won't go into that. But no. um, yeah, I think you know, um, I think Jim Seidel, who I've known, I was thinking about this before this interview, I've known him 50 years. Oh my goodness, 50 wow. years, yeah. Wow, when we were, we were, uh, we had less weight and more hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, um, I love. I, I think prepared the concert band for for Al Rockle. Right. And Al has elevated the, the level of music that we're playing mm -hmm. as we've uh, increased in, in membership and and you know ability. I think so. It's the uh, trumpeter of Krakow playing timpani on that has a very brief solo but just the whole piece and and being in set it has oh quite a bit of of it is in seven eight yes you know and think back a few years ago cindy that that band would no 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 <laughs> no we could we could not have done that you know one two one two one two three but right. anyway um so that's memorable and then the jazz band just playing the drum set in jazz band is is just a blast and uh, al has recruited some ringers we have a an alto sax who is a professional pete uh, pete Savers, and and we're to, we're really cooking that's we're cooking and we're, we're not ready to play anybody rich arrangements but uh right. <laughs> <laughs> But but you're having fun and that's it's oh, yeah. fun and making and playing well. And that's that's what it's all about and that's what we yeah. all 
so much right now. You bet. So what's your favorite part of rehearsal, either with the concert band or the jazz band? Well, I shared this in take one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish, uh, it, secretly, you know, I guess, it's not a secret anymore now. Uh, I wish, I wish uh, concert band rehearsals were a little shorter, but that's okay. But yeah. I would say the camaraderie. Yes. The camaraderie. That is quite a, yeah. a similar yeah. theme as, yeah. I talk to, yeah. as I talk to people. Really. Yeah, I bet. It, I bet. It, yeah. Is there anything that you'd like to tell people about the New Horizons band? Yeah, I'd like to encourage our members and, and other people, supporters of it, to encourage other people to to consider joining us. Mm -hmm. If not this year, you know, who knows when we're going to meet again. I know. But, I know. but uh, sometime in the future, like I said earlier in this interview, I, I'd like to recruit Dave Hag for the trumpet section. We could use two more French horns, I think, right? Yes, and definitely. Maybe a few, a few more trombones and maybe uh, Barry Sachs. Huh? And clarinets. Yeah. Clarinets. Yeah. clarinets. Oh, yeah. Speaking of clarinets, I was thinking about the connection that Margaret and I have with you and Trisha and Dennis in that we all also studied at IUP, Indiana right. University of Pennsylvania. That's you right. and Dennis and, and Trisha undergrad and Margaret and I earned our masters. Right. I yeah. and I just learned that about Trisha not too long ago. I didn't realize that. <laughs> She's terrific. She is. She is terrific. Yeah. And she keeps me on my toes. <laughs> Because playing timpani, I'm right. I'm right beside her. And, right beside yeah. her. Yeah, her special she's, talents. Yeah, to me. Yeah, to me. She. She's a prof. She's professional. We have. We have some players in the New Horizons who. You know, oh, definitely. Could definitely. play professional. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. Tim, thank you so much, especially since this is take two. <laughs> yes, in uh, Ringgold Rapid Responses. I am Cindy Miller Angst with um, New Horizons band member Jim Bauer signing off and hope to see you at our next video series. Bye. Bye. Take care.